Hi, my name's Lynn Hobson. I'm an Outreach Officer for Parliament, uh, covering the North East Yorkshire and the Humber. And today we've had a workshop on women and the vote. The focus of the workshop has been looking at the history of how women started to campaign in the first place, um, how that campaign progressed from being legal and genteel to becoming more militant and people getting arrested and then progressing towards the First World War. I think the fact that we're coming up to 100 years of women having their franchise is really interesting in the area of work that I'm, I'm involved with in voter registration. That's a big deal for us. Um, this year and, and next year. February 2018 is a celebration of women having the vote for 100 years, which actually, in today's terms, is a really small amount of time. Um, that it's either just before my lifetime or was in my mum's lifetime or my grandma grandmother's lifetimes. I'm involved with a project looking at Alice Bacon, who was one of the first female MPs in, elected in 1945. So I came to try and find out a little bit more about the role of women in Parliament and, and how they got there. You know, we're standing on the shoulders of women who had done all of this incredible advocacy work feels like, okay, how can we kind of capture some of that energy and momentum now? Women have only had the vote for a hundred years and women need to engage, and even men as well. If it hadn't been for men, women wouldn't have got the vote in the first place. But we all need to use our vote and learn more about how Parliament works, what it actually does, how it holds government to account and ultimately where do the politicians get their information from? It's from things that are happening locally, the people that are being affected, so their constituents talking to them, giving them information, so it's how you can get heard in Parliament and get your voice heard. So I'm feeling very inspired at the moment. I've learned so much about, the, um, about everything about the Parliament. Um, more of this, please. <laughs> That's why I'm passionate about getting people to come along and find out what's going on and get more involved.